Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Don here. So we're here with the Love From Lizzie card making kit. Uh, so this is May. So it is late because um, she has moved over to Canada. Uh, so yeah, it, they're going to start taking a little bit longer to get to me. So I do have my extras as well and i am going to use them because yeah why not uh, so we do have cards and stuff we did get this little stamp um normally i get a free um peel off um because i've been with her for quite some years but i didn't this month it's quite sad but anyway let's have a look uh we do have card bases um to hand let me just move all the envelopes out of the way because uh, we don't need them in this video so what i think i'm going to do is we've got four card bases oh that one's actually got uh, daisies on do you know what i'm gonna have those as the backs of the cards because i'm just gonna cover them up um yeah they've all got sort of embossed detail those three have anyway um and the scallop one doesn't so i'm gonna do them today in this video so let's have a look uh do you need my trimmer so let's grab the the trimmer um which is just over here and yeah let's get let's get started so i'm going to use some of the card stock that i bought um i'm going to use this gorgeous blue pearlized uh card stock so i'm going to cut this down to four and a half by six and a half okay because i'm wanting to use a scallop on and we need a nice border around it so just like that so i think that's quite nice let's just move a few of these bits i'm hoping you guys can see okay right um and then we do have our papers and cut apart so i'm quite liking this one so i'm going to cut a strip off this uh, i'm actually going to cut an inch strip off um cut that down to four and a half okay because i think that would look nice just across that middle bit there um and then we do have some toppers as well so let's cut these down now i'm not sure which paper boutique these come from but it is a paper boutique collection um but they are gorgeous right i'm quite liking this green one so just that one on there i'm just going to try and keep this quite simple actually um yeah because we sort of do the work for you and there's a the lady um let's cut these down i think i might go with the especially for you i like that so um let's trim all of these okay may as well get them ready to use yeah i'm quite liking that um so yeah let's do that so now where's the peel offs we've got in the kit so i'm not going to get any other peel offs out i think i'm just gonna i might just use these i think that blue might oh no i think that blue would work so i'm just gonna grab my glue okay and i'm just using um craft tacky glue from electronic studios and the only reason i'm using this one is because um i did um look for the smaller bottles and they didn't have them on the website but they did have those on offer so i thought i'll just grab them for now right i'm just going to grab a peel off so we're going to go across the bottom okay like so um i come that one prepared surely not surely i i'm sure i have my scissors and stuff yeah they are they're just under my trailer i was going to say uh, so I'm just going to take that off there and then we can just use these end bits because it is going to be covered. Okay, just like that. So fold those ends around and then I'm going to glue this down onto my card base like so. 
Liddy is in the studio with me, so you probably can hear her snoring away. Um, which she's so cute when she does that. So I'm gonna have that just there. Now I want him. I think I need to put just a little bit of sort of card stuck underneath it. Um, just to raise that up. Oh, yeah, that feels so much better. So let's just put that on. Okay. Like so. And then I'm just going to stick this down. Like that. Okay. And then stick that on there. Like so. And then... We've got our little sentiment here and actually I was going to have it sort of off to the side but I think I'm just going to have it on the bottom here. Um, I think that works but what I am going to do, uh, let's have a look see what card stuff I've got because I do feel like it needs to be matted and maybe on some, I don't know, that green if we've got it. Yes we do. Um, so let's mat and layer this. Let me just measure it. So this is two inches by one inch. I just need to trim off that bottom. So two by one. So I want this to be one and a quarter. Okay. And by two and a quarter. And that'll give us one eighth of an inch all the way around um, and just think it oh now I've just dropped my sentiment let me pop that oh, honestly one day right yeah that works that works lovely so I'm just going to put some glue on and then stick that down just like that and I think I'm going to actually have it just over the top so I'm going to take a bit of this cardstock um, and just put it underneath just so that it all sits nice and flat or well, just there like that and then pop our glue down and then to finish this card off there we go I'm going to grab the um, mint green Stardust Hearts that's in the variety bundle and we're going to put a few of these on. So just like this. I uh, want a baby one as well and then up there and there we go and there we have our first card how lovely is that isn't that so pretty so that is card number one all done so let's go on to our second card so this time we're going to be doing a six by six card so i'm going to use the same pearlized mint green i'm going to cut a piece that's five and a half by five and a half so let's do that Okay, so that's just going to stick on there. I'm going to glue that down. Okay, so there's that. Now, we do already have a few bits cut. So, for instance, I mean, that just looks lovely. Um, just across there, actually. I quite like that. I'm wondering whether to have it in the middle, maybe. Um, and then we've got this little sentiment that we can, um, yeah, we can pop onto there. Let me just cut it down a little. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that works perfectly. So I'm going to just glue that on. Whether I use this on this card, I don't quite know yet. Um, so we shall see but let's glue that on and then I'm just going to trim off that bottom bit okay 
trying to get it straight or as straight as I can get it. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Now, the only other thing that I want is I want a bit of paper underneath, and I think I'm going to go with this blue one. So I'm going to cut a piece that is five and one quarter by five and one quarter of an inch. Okay. And then that is just going to sit on there. So let's glue this down. Well, actually, let's glue all of our pieces down and then see where we go from there. So there's that. Okay, I'm just going to trim that edge because that edge doesn't look the greatest. There we go. And then I'm just going to trim each side. I'm wondering, actually, you know what? I'm going to trim this so it's five and a half inches. Try and get it even. Right. So that it doesn't hang off the edge yeah i like that so let's glue that down okay so that's going to go across the center like that oh that's lovely doesn't it oh it's just dropped in there i have no idea and then i'm just going to pop that there's do you know what i've just realized there's not really any ephemera stuff is there um Normally you get, we get a pack of ephemera, but there isn't. Uh, let's have a look. See if one of these balls will do. Yeah, I'm going to do one of these balls. And actually, may, I think I may, does, do we need a, do we actually need a sentiment on it? Because I quite like it without the sentiment. I mean, it looks all right having the sentiment up there and stuff, but I don't know. I don't, to tell you the truth, I don't think, I don't feel as though we need a sentiment. Yeah, I'm going to leave the sentiment off. I'm going to call this one done. I really like it. Well, I say I'm going to call it done. I'm going to actually put a couple of gems on so that, it, yeah. Right. So, and then let's put the little ones. Okay, like that. And then there. So I've just put a little bit of bling on just to bring that all together. I think that looks really nice. So that is card number two all done. So let's have a look to see what we've got left because I think I want to take advantage of using some of the scraps. Um, I really want to use this as well. Um, so we've got a five by seven card here. So yeah, let's use this. So what's that measure? So that's four and a quarter. So this needs to be six and a quarter, just so that it is the same all the way around. So I'm going to glue that down. Okay. Nice. I like it. Right. Okay. So now that we've got that, I'm wondering whether or not to add a strip of this with that and that do you know what i really like that i think that works really well so let's do that um actually i'm just going, going to stick this down but what i'm going to do first is add some strips of this so that it sticks down um it's all even so there's that bit do the same up at the top. This needs to just be a little bit thinner. And there we go. Right, that's just over the edge ever so slightly. There we go. Right. Oh, no, no, don't go under. There we are. Right, and then I'm just going to pop my glue on. I'm going to stick that down just along there like that. Okay. Make sure I've got... Oops, sorry. 
so I've got plenty of glue on that edge and then we're just going to trim up the outer edges down so there's one edge and then the other okay so there's that and then we're going to grab this piece and we're going to just stick this down on there okay and then we're going to grab our sentiment that we were going to use on the last card and we're going to just stick that down on there like that and it is as simple as that and then i'm just going to take some of these gems and i'm just going to put three of them just along the bottom here making sure that they are straight okay uh, and then that one needs to move there we go and there we have it there is a card number three how cute is that that's lovely that right okay so we've got that now onto our final card so, what are we going to do for the final card? Um, and it's only the final card for this one. I will be back and we'll make some more. Um, but yeah, right. Oh, I like that. So I think we'll use that. Um, let's have a look. Because that's like quite nice, isn't it? Um... What do I want to use? I feel like I just want to use some cardstock. Um, what cardstock did we get in? Let's see, I've got a feeling. No, I don't feel like any of that goes right. So I'm going to use this blue one. So let's cut this down. Actually, I don't want to border on this one. So I'm just going to pop glue all the way around the edge of my card and then the middle and then we're going to line this up and stick it down i find this is the best way for me to get a nice fit on my card is by doing it this way um because then you can just trim around it so let's do that okay and then this one And then just down here. And that gives us the perfect fit. And just like that. Right, okay, so we've got that. Now I'm going to stick this on here. So let's do that. And then I have no idea where we're going to go from there. This is as far as I got. So let's cut these down. Okay. So that's what we have. Now, we do have these letters. And we do have these as well as we have these. Um, I wonder sure whether to had, had add a couple of these in actually in the corners. Um, needs to sort of be that way I think yeah I don't know actually now that I'm doing it um, yeah right so there's that one so now I need one that goes that way um, this one okay yeah I just want to use them as if they were as if they were corners just to yeah I like that I think that's worked and then I'm going to use these form letters just to spell out hello so Where 
as the owls. Now I'm not pushing these down yet because um, I'm not sure on placement. So what I want to do first is get the hitch and the O down and then we can sort of place our letters where we want them in between. Okay. I've got and then one L and two L. There. Just like that. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to take a few of these little pieces. Oh, let's try and get that down properly, shall we? It's like they're just like mini leaves. And we're just going to put a couple of them just around. So I'm going to use three because we need an odd number. There we go. Just like that. And there we have it. Card number four. So let me just um, tidy up and then I'll bring the cards in and we can have a look at them all finished. Right, okay, so I've packed the kit away. Um, I'm not sure when I'll get on and do the rest of the cards uh, just because of time, uh, but at least I've had a play. So these are the four cards using the cards that came in the card kit, and I have to say, I think they look fab. Yeah, really, really nice. I think this one might be my favourite as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hopefully we'll see you again in another video very soon. But yeah, let me know which one is your favourite. Um, but yeah, until then, happy crafting everyone. Bye.